if you need some gifts for this holiday season, making these beeswax candles would be perfect. These are the supplies that you're gonna need. Some essential oils, whichever ones you wanna use. Some pure beeswax. Now this one is a block, but I do recommend getting the ones that are in little pellets because this takes a long time to melt down and it's really hard to cut. So I would definitely recommend getting the pellets. You will need some of these metal wick tabs and you can also get the wick tab stickers if you want to be able to stick it to the bottom of the candle and get a thicker 100% cotton actual wick. I got these on Amazon and so you will be able to find them on there as well. So I like to mix my beeswax with a little bit of coconut oil. I'm putting half a cup of coconut oil in one of the huge blocks of beeswax, which is about one pound. I will have the full recipe of making the candles down below in the description box. Once your beeswax is starting to melt down, you can get your wicks and wick tabs ready. I am just cutting uh, just a couple more inches than you actually need because we'll be wrapping it around a pencil to keep it straight. If you have a hot glue gun, you could hot glue the bottom of the wick to the jar. I do not have one of those, so I will show you what I do with the wax in order to keep my wick tab on the bottom. Now, once your beeswax and coconut oil is all melted, you can add your essential oils or you don't have to add any oils at all because the beeswax smells like honey to begin with, so it's actually a really, really nice smell. Now I put a little bit of the beeswax in the bottom of the jar, and then I'm going to put my wick very carefully in the bottom, and I'm just going to cover that with some more beeswax. You can push it down if you need to, if it's not all the way submerged into the beeswax. and then you can let it cool a little bit for the beeswax to harden and that way your wick won't come out when you're actually putting it around a pencil. Now you can tape it around the pencil if you really care about your wick being super straight. I don't, I'm going to lazy. This is kind of just an easy way for me to make candles. And then you're gonna wanna pour your beeswax into the rest of the jar and then you can set that aside to cool off and just go ahead and finish all your other jars just like this one. So these are the jars that I just filled up. As you can see, they're already starting to cool off. Once they are fully solidified, you can go ahead and cut off the rest of the wick, leaving about an inch, that way you can burn. And then if you wanna add some nice decoration, I just have this twine that I'm gonna be using for my Christmas presents. And so I decided to tie a little bow around the jars just to make them a little bit cuter, especially if I'm giving them as a gift. 